The second group of sedimentary rocks are called organic because they're composed of materials made by organisms, as the name implies. There are a number of different types in this group. Let's look at one group of these organic sedimentary rocks, the ones that are all made of CaCO3. Two possible forms of CaCO3, calcium carbonate, are calcite or its close cousin aragonite. But don't worry about the second form that you may not have been introduced to. Both forms react vigorously to cold, dilute hydrochloric acid. Here's an oyster shell. Let's see how it reacts to cold, dilute hydrochloric acid. Nice. Strong reaction. We can certainly confirm that the oysters make shells of calcium carbonate. Most common skeletons, in fact, of clams, snails, and other marine invertebrates are in fact made of CaCO3. It's the most common mineral organisms use to make their shells. Fossiliferous limestone is recognized by, ta-da, the abundant presence of fossils. Here's one example. You don't have to identify the fossils individually. You just have to recognize their presence. So we call all these rocks fossiliferous limestone. Don't forget that to confirm CaCO3 as a mineral, you just need to do the acid test. Here's another sample composed mostly of shelly debris. You might think this rock should be called fossiliferous limestone. It is fossiliferous, of course, because of the shells. However, let's look more closely. We see that there isn't much matrix between the shelly particles. The rock is both porous and permeable. One way this concentrated deposit of shell forms is on a beach. Waves wash away the sand and concentrate the shells. Here's an example on a beach in Florida. Note the absence of sand-sized particles between the shells. Only the heavier shells remain in the intertidal zone. When these deposits are eventually lithified, that is, the shells are lightly cemented together, the rock that forms is coquina. A third type of organic limestone is very fine-grained. Here's an example. Let's do an acid test to confirm that this rock is made of calcium carbonate. Okay, CaCO3 it is. Nice vigorous reaction. And it's really fine-grained, as we can't see any particles without magnification. The organic limestone of this type is called chalk. Now, it's not the chalk your instructor uses to write on the blackboard, mind you. But chalk, the fine-grained natural organic limestone, is pretty easy to confirm by the acid test, by your observation of its particles being microscopic, and because it's soft enough to scrape with your fingernail. So we have three types of organic limestones, fossiliferous limestone, coquina, and chalk.